Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. On Thursday, SpaceX successfully launched their 38th mission of the year with the launch of USS F-62. One, ignition. And a lift out to Falcon 9. Go USS F-62, go SpaceX. The booster which launched this mission, B-1082, then landed successfully for the third time on the landing pad at landing zone 4. Center E9 engine has now lit. We are slowing the vehicle down very rapidly. Should be seeing those landing legs deploy any second now. Stage 1 landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. Yesterday, SpaceX also successfully launched their 39th mission of the year with the launch of Starlink 649. And liftoff of Starlink 649, a Falcon flies for the 20th time. The booster which launched this mission, B-1062, then landed successfully for the 20th time on the drone ship a shortfall of gravitas, becoming the first booster to land 20 times. Stage one landing confirmed. We can hopefully expect to see some launches coming up this week. The first of these, the Worldview Legion 1 and 2 mission is currently scheduled for Wednesday 17th at 6.30pm UTC or 2.30pm EST. Some hours later and we can hopefully expect to see a Starlink mission launch. The Starlink 651 mission is currently scheduled for Wednesday 17th at 9.24pm UTC or 5.24pm EST. The following day and we could see yet another Starlink mission launch. The Starlink 652 mission is currently scheduled for Thursday 18th at 10.40pm UTC or 6.40pm EST. SpaceX posted some information about B-1062. They said since its first mission in November 2020, the single first stage has launched 8 astronauts and more than 500 satellites totaling 261 plus metric tons to orbit in under 4 years. Heading to Boca Chica, work continues at the launch site as they prepare for Flight 4. A bunch of work was seen going on with the chopsticks. Concrete was seen being poured at the tank farm berm. The work on Star Factory is continuing. Also, the work on the new office building is progressing rapidly. Here's a look at a Launch Tower 2 section sitting at Starbase. SpaceX posted an incredibly cool video of a Raptor engine shutting down after testing. They said shutdown of a Raptor vacuum engine in slow motion. The engine's nozzle is sized for use by Starship in the Earth's upper atmosphere and outer space so operation at sea level and low chamber pressures results in flow separation creating visible rings in the exhaust. There was an article with information from the FAA on unrelated matters but mention of when SpaceX will be ready for Flight 4. It says Coleman's office has also been busy with SpaceX's Starship which performed its third integrated test flight March 14th. SpaceX executives said the company will be ready to conduct its next launch as soon as early May. That will require the FAA to approve SpaceX's mishap review and update the launch license. Coleman stopped short of endorsing that timeline at the briefing, I think we can possibly get there. I'm not going to say we'll get there absolutely in May, but I won't say it's out of the question either. Work has been continuing on Starship 29's nose cone heat shield tiles in the high bay. Ship 30 continues to be worked on in Mega Bay 2. As always, I have to say thanks to both Mary, otherwise known as Boca Chica Gal and Sean Doherty for being out there filming the Starbase content. Also, thanks to the NASA spaceflight team working behind the scenes on their videos, live streams and other space content. 
That's it for this episode of the SpaceX Show. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.